Hey friends, welcome to taping your eye. Yes, you heard it right. I'm going to tape my eye to lift the eyeshadows, giving you a lifted appearance to the face. This is for um, any age really, but I'm really speaking more to the mature woman over 40, over 50, over 60. It's funny because a lot of people will say, I'll put over 40 and they'll, they'll go, well, what about over 50? And I'm like, 50 is over 40. <laughs> like I just use 40 as my lowest age. Like technically I could even say over 37, but I choose to say over 40. Um, but I recently did a TikTok where on Christmas day I did eye makeup. I wasn't planning on doing a TikTok Christmas day, but it took like two minutes and I had taped my eye to keep my eyeshadow nice and lifted and I used a really fun bright color, like a reddish rusty color. And so I thought, oh, I'll do a quick video. Well, I was surprised by the response. People um, responded very well to it. And a lot of women said, how do you tape the eye? Can you show the taping part? And I thought, okay, this, this is why TikTok's tough. Like TikTok, you have a minute to convey, you know, a tip or a message. It's really hard to do in under, under a minute. It can be done, but I really feel to really educate someone or to really instruct on a certain technique, you really need a YouTube video. Do you agree? So here's what I, I'm just making this super informal and easy today. I don't even really have a plan in my mind other than today I'm going to do more of a um, natural eye because I find most women want natural soft eye makeup as they get older. I probably will do another YouTube video this week doing the same method, but with a brighter fun eye for maybe New Year's Eve or special occasions, okay? So I like to take wall safe tape. You could use any tape you want, but I like the wall safe because it's a little less sticky. And you know, take a typical piece of tape and you're literally gonna tape it to your skin. Now, I have a little tinted moisturizer on. I hate it. It's a new brand I bought yesterday. Um, I'll be taking it off, so that's why I have it on. But normally, what I would recommend is don't put on your BB cream or foundation or concealer. Don't do any of that till you're done with your eye makeup because the tape's gonna just peel it right off. So then do your, your face, and I'll come back with all of that afterwards. But you are gonna do this. You are going to go from the outer corner of your eye, okay? And you get to decide the angle. And let me tell you, it's tricky on mature skin because already it's wanting to wrinkle, okay? So I am going right there. I'm not quite to the eyebrow. If I had gone right to the eyebrow, it would have been, I think, in my opinion, too lifted. And then remember, someone pointed out on my video also, um, well, one eye's higher than the other. Well, yeah, because look, when I talk, I have one eyebrow higher than the other. Um, and when I talk, I only exaggerate that um, asymmetry. Everyone has an asymmetrical face. Very, very, very few women on this earth have a symmetrical face. So it's not gonna be 100%, but if you keep it soft, no one's gonna really notice. So. Now you're gonna kind of eyeball this side, okay? And I'm gonna see if that feels about the, yeah, that feels about the same. And I'm gonna go right here. That feels about the same, but again, this side looks a little more lifted and that's probably just due to the fact that I just have a more lifted brow bone on that one side. Can't really change that, that's just my face shape, but let's see. Okay, I think that's about, that's about lifted. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a natural shadow and then I promise I'll come back with another video to show you how to do a really fun color if you wanna do the same technique with a fun color. But what the tape does is it prevents the shadow from going too low right, which down here where it can just drag your eyes down and drag your face. So this keeps everything lifted. And today we're gonna do um, a fox eye. We're gonna do a fox eye today. A fox eye is just a really pretty eyeliner technique that you can use with brushes and shadow. I'm not gonna use any, well, I might use a little of my Stila pen today, but 
<sighs> See, this is what happens when I'm not prepared, forgive me. I'm looking for my e.l.f. Okay, I love this e.l.f. eye putty primer. It is about $3, maybe $4. You really warm, warm it up. See, I'm rubbing, 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 rub. you really warm it up with your finger. And then you just kind of tap it and press it onto the eyelid where you're gonna put shadow, okay? Look at that, isn't that pretty? It just creates a really, really nice canvas so that your shadow sticks nicely to it and stays in place. I love this. I've been using this eye putty primer for about four months now. I always use MAC, MAC Cosmetics Painterly paint pot, which also is about the same color. And honestly, for four bucks, I like this better. And this one scores low in toxicity on EWG, because as you know, I am a clean beauty makeup artist. I try to use everything clean beauty. The Stila, I don't think it's real clean, but I don't have any ink pens right now that are cleaner than that. So um, I'm not legalistic about it. I just, whenever I can, I make a clean choice. Okay, so I am going to start with a light color. And today, put my mirror down here. Today I'm gonna use this Milani uh, Most Loved Mattes because look at this. You have your warms. No, I'm sorry, these are your warms, these are your neutrals, and this is your kind of plummy browns, really pretty. So you have cools, warms, and neutrals. This is a great palette, and they're all matte. So if you want a shimmer, you have to actually purposely go in and add a shimmer. I'm gonna take this light color here, and I'm gonna dust it across the entire eye because it just creates a nice canvas and notice I'm using a flat brush. See, a flat brush. I like to use a flat brush because I like to kind of pack it. See, I'm kind of packing it, but also kind of blending it at the same time, okay? And see how nice and smooth that looks. And now I'm gonna go in with this other eye and do the same thing. I'm not gonna do any editing to this video just to save time for me. So just know that this is really just about technique only. I'm gonna name a few products, but I'm really just doing this to show everyone how to tape the eye. Okay, so I have that. Now, look how puckery that is because of age, your face falls. Um, I am going to go in now with a really soft color. I'm going to do this second one here and I've got a fluffier brush. This is a brush that's a little bit more of an oval than a round. So it's slimmer from the side than it is from the front. And I'm gonna go in now and I'm going to kind of lightly place a light crease in. I remember on high def camera, that looks much deeper than it does in person. In person, it barely looks like I have anything in my crease. Just kind of looks like natural shadow, but it looks a little deeper on camera. But that's it, just those two colors are all I'm gonna put on my eye because the rest of it I'm gonna use um, eyeshadow for eyeliner. So I'm doing a soft natural eye today because I think most women like a soft natural eye. If you are a glamour girl, come back to my other video. I will do, uh, well, let's see. I might not post this till sa actually, you know what? I might post this same technique with a really bright, fun color eye for New Year's Eve. So this actually one I'm filming right now might come later. So ignore what I'm saying because I haven't planned it all out. Sometimes I'm just spontaneous and if I feel like, ooh, I'm gonna do this look, I should probably take advantage of a YouTube video right now, then that's what I'll do. Okay, so that's it, I have two colors. That's it, I have to, and then I always take my brush that's from the base shadow and just kind of blend those inner corners. Now, I wanna show you something. I'm gonna lift this off real quick so I wanna show you how this looks. See how it's keeping it lifted? So from the front, 
my shadow isn't coming way down here and dragging my eye down, okay? You're gonna notice it more when I start putting on some eyeliner in deeper colors. And if you look real close up, you can kind of see a little line, but don't worry, we're gonna blend that all later. Because you don't wanna see a sharp line. A sharp line on a young 24 year old can look kind of sharp and severe and fun, kind of fierce. It's not cute on our age, ladies, not cute. Okay, I'm going to take the darkest color we have in this palette and I'm going to start with a dark color. And I'm going to take a little angle brush. Here we go. A little tiny angle brush. This is a MAC brush. The numbers have all worn off. I've had these MAC brushes for a million years. Good brushes will last you a long time, ladies. A long, long time. Okay, now I'm going to take this darkest shadow, the darkest one, and I'm going to start creating the fox eye. And I'm not going to take it into the inner corner. So notice I'm not really going past the iris right there and I'm keeping it really thin. I might have to go in with black. I haven't decided yet. I'll let you know. You don't have to. These are all options. Now here's where it gets fun. Because we have this tape, look at that. We're gonna have a really nice edge to this and you can get a little messy because the bottom side, the bottom side is gonna lift off. Okay, so see that? Do you see how lifted my eye looks because of that tape? Now listen, this method is not necessarily for every day. I'm not gonna do it every day. I don't feel like taping my eye every day, but it's it's a fun technique. It really is. It's a fun technique that I made fun of for years and years. I made fun of all the young influencers who did this until I tried it one day just for, really I just did it for a laugh. I really just did a TikTok video taping my eyes just to show if it works or not for mature eyes and kind of what a joke it was. And honestly, I was pretty impressed with how it came out. So I'm like, okay, I think if I like it, maybe other women in my age bracket will like it. Okay. Again, remember, I didn't go past this iris. So see that? Lifted. Okay. So we have a sharp color. You could even um, spray. Put a little setting spray on your brush if you wanted to get the shadow darker. For some of you, the shadow is going to be dark enough. For some of you, you're going to want to go darker. I might even, I might even go in with a little black. I haven't decided yet. Okay, now I'm going to go in with. You know what? I'm going to use a different palette. I'm shaking it up on you guys. But I'm going to go in with this really pretty shimmery brown from Beauty Counter. And the reason why is because I want a shimmer to kind of go above this. Because it'll make it look more of like an airbrush, which is what the whole fox eye looks like. It's you, You're kind of going, I don't want to say ombre, but you're kind of going dark and then fading it as it goes up. And again, you don't have to do the fox eye. You can just stick to one color. I'm just showing options. So I'm not necessarily going on top of it. I'm more going above it. Okay. And when that lifts away, it's gonna be really pretty. And then we're gonna take our crease brush Kind of blend it a little bit in the outer corner so it's not so crazy. Okay, oh, I have some plucking to do. Okay, can you see that already? Can you see how lifted that looks? 
kind of fun, right? Kind of makes me look like I had maybe a little surgery. I'll take it. Okay, now I am going to um, see, look, tons of shadow under my eye. This is why I say put your foundation on afterwards. I am going to take this ink pen and just just in the outer corner. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Just in the outer corner. I'll tell you, it's kind of fun. You don't have to be so careful when you have this amazing tape on the eye. Okay, now that's all I'm gonna do, okay? So I, I have black at the root, and then I have that matte brown shadow, and then I have the shimmery chocolate brown above it, okay? Now, I think that looks blended. I think that looks good. I think for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna take a little bit of this pretty shimmery color. Um, I have so many brushes, so many brushes. I just have this little tiny one. It's flat, it's tiny, it's meant for concealer, but I never use brushes what they're intended for. I go by, I go by shape and texture. I'm gonna go right in this inner corner, especially because I didn't bring eyeliner into the inner corner, so I really wanna kinda emphasize the inner eyelid is real nice and light. That also tends to look kinda youthful to go kinda light there, and you can even do just a pinch up here, just a pinch. Just because if you move your head a certain way, you could see the tiniest bit of shimmer. And then a little bit here. underneath and then a little oh my gosh this tinted moisturizer I can't even tell you how bad it looks in person I can't wait to take it off okay I'm happy with this all right here we go we're gonna take the tape off okay here we go fun 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 I'm liking this okay I'm gonna take this tape off I always pull from the bottom and lift up right? Wow. That's fun. And see how kind of almost smoky and airbrush it looks above it. Okay. Now here's what, this is important. This is where you are going to take, um, uh, you are going to take a clean brush. This is just a little pencil brush. And now we are going to with a clean brush blend it just a little bit because there's nothing pretty about a sharp harsh line on an older woman and that goes to me for lip liner for anything any eyeliner under the eye I like I don't like to see sharp lines. I like to see blending, okay? So I can even take a little tiny bit of this shimmery color and tap over the sharp line just to soften it a little bit. Just a little tiny bit to soften it. And there you go. Not fun. And you don't even have to go out that far. I'm being a little extra extra. Um, I'm actually not going to wear fake lashes today because I want to be able to... Fake lashes would kind of block this and then all that work is for nothing. I love fake lashes. You guys know that about me. But I feel like... 
I feel like that's a no for fake lashes for me. I'm just gonna do mascara. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. What do we think, isn't that fun? And you see from here how lifted it looks? It's just your cheat sheet, that's all it is. The tape is just a cheat sheet. I had a, a bunch of women saying, well, how long do you leave it on for? And I'm like, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? And then I understood, they thought I was putting tape on my eyes to lift my eyes. No, nobody walks around with tape on their eyes. The tape is just there, so it's, it's just a template. It's just to keep your eyeshadows lifted up because sometimes if we go extend too far down, it drags our eye down and it ages our eye. So that's what we've done, okay? I'll be right back. I'm gonna take off this hideous tinted moisturizer, put my face back on, put some mascara on, and we'll see how we like the final look, okay? Stay tuned. What do we think? I love it. It's super lifted. I think it looks great. Um, you don't have to wing it out this much. And again, in person, I'm looking here, down here in the mirror, in person, it's much softer. Um, but normally, I'll be honest, without the tape, I might have come down a little bit more. And so that tape really keeps everything elevated. And you can get kind of messy and the tape just lifts all the mess away. And then I put on my BB cream. So I feel all glowy and pretty. I got off that horrible tinted moisturizer. I did want to show you one thing. I'm crazy about this mascara. I've been using this mascara for about six months now. It's the Thrive. I can put the link in the description of the show. If you don't know what that means, you can click on the title of the show. I always say the show. You can click on the title of the video and a description drops down and links will be in there. That This is the best mascara. Uh, it's clean, so it scores only a two on ewg.org. It is warm water removal, so you will literally like um, need warm to hot water to remove it. It doesn't remove with eye makeup remover. It does not remove the cleanser. You will take um, hot water or warm water in your hands, and I literally just do this and kind of let my lashes soak for like 10, 20 seconds, and then these little tubes just slide right off, so it's really cool. But I wanted to show you, do you see this little teeny speck? Don't you hate that when you do your eye makeup, when you do your mascara and your eye makeup's all perfect, and then you get those little specks of mascara. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a dry spoolie. You can get these anywhere now, totally dry spoolie. And you're just going to lightly scrape it off. Here's another little polka dot right here. Boom, done. I don't have to touch up my eyeshadow. It did not hurt my eyeshadow totally got that off. So I love that trick. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of this light color and there we go. You could do that, right? That is not hard. I've taken some time to, to, you know, describe the technique and demo the technique, but anyone can do this. And the tape just makes it kind of effortless and it's really up to you how dark you want to go how high you want to bring your eyeliner it's really all up to you um i think i think this side i've extended more than this side so i'll have to go in and fix that but you know i'm a 25 year makeup artist and i still don't master everything i'm still not perfect when i walk out the door and i don't even try to be and you shouldn't try to be either but practice does make perfect so Keep practicing. Don't get discouraged if you don't how it look like how it looks right away. Keep practicing and come back in comments and let me know if you tried this and if you like it, if it works, if anyone noticed a difference, if you're having fun with it. Um, I will do another video on a more colorful eye using the tape, to tape or not to tape, we'll see, right? But it does work for mature eyes and I, I feel bad that I made fun of young influencers all these years taping their eyes. I still don't love the sharp severity of their eyes, but now that I know we can do it with a softer look, why wouldn't we? Bye for now.